Hallelujah. We're going to get into the word now. Hallelujah. Okay, great stuff. We passed 10,000. Let's see whether we can get to 20,000 likes and then we start off. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody keep on typing a war against star hunters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight we wage a spiritual battle. Hallelujah. We are waging a spiritual battle. As you know, spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare is not for the faint hearted. And whether or not you choose to sit one out and you feel that the devil will leave you alone. He will not leave you alone. Even when you feel like you are not troubling the, the devil, he will definitely give you trouble. So I want to, as a departure point to what we are discussing today, to make a remark that some people might scoff at the mention of a spiritual battle or spiritual warfare. But the Bible makes it very clear that us as Christians, we have a real enemy and that enemy is the devil. And we have to wage warfare. Anyone who seeks to have a vital relationship with God through prayer understands that if they are to grow towards intimacy with the Father through the finished work of the Son of Jesus, of, of His Son, Jesus Christ, they become a prime target. You have become, God bless you, Dr. Catherine, you have become a, a prime target whether you like it or not or whether you know it or not. And you're going to have to determine that I'm not going to be a defeated Christian. Come on, somebody. The science, the, the science uh, what do you call it? The scientists would have you believe that if you can't see something, if you can't feel it, if you can't touch it, if you can't smell it, it does not seem real. They would scoff at you. They would laugh at you if you told them that there were spiritual battles. But this is one thing that I know. That there are people that are going through things that they cannot explain. There are people who are going through things that by their educational qualifications, they cannot explain it. They are going through cycles and patterns. They are going through difficulties in their lives, foundational issues that they cannot explain that are spiritually related. And no, it's not happening only to Africa. It's happening all the world around. Some people might think that it's Africans that have to contend with evil or will have to contend with satanic issues or have to contend with witchcraft issues. But I dare to tell you and, 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 and ask you to open up your, your mind and your spirit to understand the battle that you are in so that you can fight accordingly. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody keep on typing in the comment section, war against star hunters. War against star... star oh, Karabash. God bless you for that testimony. Ah, the mountain was moved. Amen. I've been seeing those testimonies. I'm very excited, guys. That's why I want to make sure we populate heaven with more testimonies. I've been seeing those mountains. I saw the births that ha happened today. Things have been happening. Hallelujah. War against star hunters. Thank you so much. They just brought that into my attention of that testimony. Congratulations. So it's not an African battle. It's not a... I don't know what you call it battle, but I want you to understand that everybody is going through so much. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the work that you're about to do. Thank you for every single person that has tuned into this broadcast. Thank you, O oh Lord, for choosing me as a vessel this morning, my God, as a conduit to bring your word to your people, to be that person who brings that word of deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Another one. Another testimony. My God. Fortune Ellen Line. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going to get to praying later. For everybody, we're going to get to 
doing the dream interpretations we're going to interact on a one-on-one -on -one basis so i want to encourage you to focus on what the holy spirit wants me to teach and then we will go into prayer and sometimes i pray in between so participate fully amen welcome minister Mele. Ah. You guys are distracting me. They made, they enlarged the screen. The testimonies are just coming in. So the pains have gone away from the feet and everything. My God, God is faithful. So the Bible makes it very clear that we have an enemy and that enemy is the devil. And he, he prowls around like a, a roaring lion looking for somebody to devour. So the devil doesn't say you are already down. The devil doesn't say, the devil doesn't say you are already broke. Therefore, I'm not going to come and attack. But have you ever asked yourself, why is it that when you already feel down, that the devil is still coming at you? When you feel like the devil has already taken everything away from you, he's still coming at you because he's fulfilling scripture. He says, the devil comes to still kill and destroy. He steals what is yours. He kills and he wants to obliterate you by destroying you completely. Come on, somebody. Somebody needs to know that you need to war against the devil who is also sending his agents to hunt your star. And he wants to take away your star. And when your star is taken away, you cannot shine. You have a real enemy that you're going to have to fight tonight. Come on, somebody. Jesus promises us as his followers that we can both survive and thrive through the battle. Not only will you survive the battle, but you will thrive and you will win and you will exceed. Come on, somebody. You're going to do better than what you started in January. You're going to do better than what your, 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 your enemies or your family members that the naysayers have been thinking about you. You're going to show them who you are. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. So since the enemy always is planning and having all these terrible uh, plans against you, you need to have this, this clear conscience and, and clear understanding of who he is and what he's all about. He's always active. He's got fallen angels who are his followers, who are just looking for names throughout the earth. Who can I devour today? Who can I destroy? And when I look through the scriptures, I see that the devil comes in many forms. And sometimes the spirit of the enemy comes in via people who are very close to us and via people who love us. Or we love them and we are thinking they are coming with pure intentions but they are there to dim our stars some of them want to take away our stars come on somebody I want somebody to type again on the comment section war against star hunters so that those who are coming in a bit late they know what we are talking about today the devil is called the wicked one the devil is called the adversary the devil is called the father of lies him and his fallen angels are called evil spirits, demons, unclean spirits. Hallelujah. And they are all about tempting you. They are all about lying to you. They are all about accusing you. They are all about corrupting you. They are all about deception. This means that the war, the battle lines have been drawn. The battle lines have been drawn. Whether you choose to show up for battle, you can choose to sit it out and, and, and you just sit there and die. Or you can choose to enter the battle ring and say, I'm going to box my way through this thing. I know God is going to help me fight. This is a fight that I just have to, sometimes I just have to sit back and watch what God does. But God is waiting for me to speak tonight. God is waiting for me to speak this morning. God is waiting for me to wage a warfare against the star hunters. Those who are hunting for my star. Those who have stolen my star. They must return it in Jesus' mighty name. We need to realize that, oh, Kariya Masoto, the activities of the devil are limited. Satan's activities are limited by God. His demons' activities are limited by God and they can be limited by you as well. There was something that was sealed by Jesus' death on the cross. He sealed the judgment of demonic forces when he had disarmed the rulers and authorities. He made a public disarray, display of them, having triumphed over them through him. Hallelujah. That is what scripture confirms with us. 
He says, I made a public display of them. I, I, I shame them. I made sure that they, they understand that I have conquered death and I've conquered so many things. The devil cannot come back to accuse you. Come on, somebody. Let's take it up, guys. Make sure everybody is sharing the live broadcast. Make sure you are following the account where you are watching me from. His death, his burial, his resurrection was making a spectacle of the devil to say, you cannot keep a good man down. You cannot keep a good woman down. You will not die. Hallelujah. Your, the, yes, Minister Amelia, the Lord will fight your battles and victory truly belongs to you. He wanted to show you that by the death and the burial and the resurrection that you've got the victory. Talk to me, somebody. He made a public display of them. Jesus' death and burial and resurrection is your testimony. So it shows that even Satan can buzz around like a bee. He cannot sting you. You cannot be stung, whatever he's doing. You know, when you hear the sound of a bee buzzing, it can be quite annoying, but you must be assured that he cannot sting me. He can try and sting me, but his sting will not make a difference. He can send scorpions towards me, but his scorpions will not poison me. Come on, somebody. I will not die because I've been given authority to trample upon serpents and that any poisonous thing will not harm me. Come on, somebody. The devil and his demons are like collar doors with, with leashes that extend only as far as God will permit them. You need to understand that when God says, I will not leave you nor forsake you, that Satan is placed on a leash. He knows he can only operate within a certain dimension. He knows that he cannot accuse you beyond a certain dimension. He knows that he cannot break the hedge of protection unless you have broken the hedge. There is a hedge around you that refuses satanic affliction to come upon you. Come on, somebody. Come on, Mara Official. I need you to be sharing the broadcast and, and sharing the live. Come on, somebody. This is a mandate that we have as children of God. I want to preach. I want to be nice today. So I don't want to do correction. You need to share the live and you need to make sure that you populate the kingdom of God. We are ministers of reconciliation. Soul winning is a mandate that we all have to do. It's not an option. And part of my broadcast, it's not so that you can just listen to me, but it, it is that we all get to share the gospel of Christ. Come on, somebody. So don't be selfish. Somebody needs this breakthrough as well. Amen, somebody. Thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, Jesus, thank you. So in his perfect wisdom, God allows the activities sometimes of the devil, but he says to us, he says, it's working out for your good so that I can shame the devil, so that I can show the devil that they have gone up a short the, the crucifixion gives you the ultimate results and it's the ultimate example of how you're going to conquer. We are retrieving our stars and we're going to wage warfare on the star hunters and we're going to bring them down tonight. Come on, somebody. Satan and his followers are in denial because they still think victory is within their grasp. But I, I, I say this evening and this morning that victory is within your grasp. The enemy does not have victory in Jesus' mighty name. The devil and his cohorts can continue to do whatever they want to do to affect the people of God, to try and tarnish the image of God, but they don't have the potential. Somebody say, I'm taking back my glory. They cannot take away your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus shall be glorified. God will be glorified. Come on, somebody. By the end of this broadcast, you make up your mind where you want to be, that God is going to be glorified. You have seen the testimonies that people are giving glory to God. God shall be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. The enemy schemes against us, whatever he's throwing against us, flaming missiles, whatever it is, whatever he tries to do to seek to devour us, whatever he wages against us in terms of warfare that he's waging against us, we should hit back. And we are here this morning exactly to do exactly that. Somebody who has been doubting God, somebody who has been shaking, somebody who has been feeling like, I don't know what my foundation is. Today, your foundation will be restored. Every crack will be repaired in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever has been disturbing your heart, your broken heart, anything that you have been, if unless you want to stay in those chains, 
I I'm looking for people who are saying, Pastor, I don't want to stay in the chains that have been keeping me bound. There is no way that the word of God can come in like this and light illuminates in you like this and you still choose to be in your chains. Are you not tired of being on the same chains? Are you not tired of going through the same mountain? Today it breaks in Jesus' mighty name. All I'm asking for you to do, open your heart, have a teachable spirit. I know the presence of God is already here. I did not come to joke. Come on, somebody. Arm yourself. Stand against the devil. Refuse the devil to shake you. Resist the devil. The Bible says you are more than an overcomer. Overcome. You've got scriptural backings. You've got prophetic written, pro written prophecies that back you up, that you can resist, you can refute, you can conquer, you can overcome. So walk within the prophetic destination that God has given you. Come on, somebody. Everything that you need to successfully do the battle against the star hunters has been appropriated to you on the cross. Come on, somebody. You simply need to appropriate it. Are you ready for the battle today? I want to know, are you ready for the battle today? I know it's taken more than just a physical toll on you. I know it's taken a mental toll on you. I know it's caused you depression. I know it's caused you to feel like you are nobody, that you cannot do anything. But I dare say, remember who you are. Remember where you belong. Come on, somebody. Put on the whole armor of God. Are you finding it difficult to find the words to tell the devil to be God? Come on, somebody, open up your mouth. Your mouth was given for a reason. I don't care how weak you feel your body is right now. I want you to open up and tell the devil to get lost. Open up your mouth and say, devil, you are getting lost. Get lost out of my life. Get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get out of my business. Get out of everything concerning me. Get out of my ministry. Every Jezebel spirit, get out. Spiritual warfare is crippling. It's real. It's troublesome. But Jesus has won us the victory. I want you to understand what we do on this Friday midnight prayers that we are saying, yes, we have to engage in spiritual warfare. And yes, it's tiring. And yes, it feels like I'm being crippled, Pastor. But I, I, I need to understand that Jesus has already won the victory for me. Come on, somebody. I'm going to put on the whole armor of God that I may be able to stand. And having stood, therefore, I will stand against the every schemes of the devil. For because I understand that I don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So I'm not fighting my husband. I'm not fighting a wife. I'm fighting the spirit that is operating inside them. I'm not fighting my boss, but there is an evil spirit that is operating. So I need to wage war in the spiritual realm. There are times and seasons of asserting yourself and talking about your rights to people in the human level, in the physical level. But you need to understand that there are things that are operating at a spiritual dimension that you need to conquer at that level. God bless those who are giving. Thank you so much. Put on the whole armor of God. You are not wrestling against flesh and blood. You are wrestling against rulers, principalities, and authorities, against cosmic powers in, 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 the, in, 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 in the present over this darkness. Present darkness. There's darkness around you. There are spiritual forces that are fighting you. You need to understand. There is a part that you are responsible for, but there is a part that is, is manipulated and orchestrated by the enemy. And I know people will tell you that these pastors are trying to confuse you. You just have to work hard. Some people have been working hard and things are not working out. And they need a solution. So somebody is here and say, don't tell me to work hard. I've already been working hard. Don't tell, I am trying, I'm doing my best. But there's a hidden warfare. There's a hidden battle. I want to understand what this hidden battle is. I want to get down to the foundation. I want to get down to the roots. Come on, somebody. Thank you, those who are sharing. Thank you to those who are tapping. Thank you to those who are gifting. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you to those who are praying truly. Thank you for those who are preaching truly. Come on, somebody. There is something, something is happening. Shakura Bahasa 
as Christians, we are in a battle of some sort at one point or another, on a daily basis, different people are going through different battles. Oh my God. I said the other day during the week that people are saying, oh my God, so much is happening. It has not even started yet. There is more turmoil that is coming. There is more warfare that is coming, whether you like it or not. If you think this recession is bad, wait until you see what is still coming on. Are you ready for it? You need to understand it's going to need more than you just getting a job. We are engaged in a warfare. We are engaged in battles. Hallelujah. We are fighting on every side, every single day. When I look at the, at, at the prayer request, sometimes I'm like, oh God, if these are just the prayer requests that are coming to me, what is happening in the heavens? That means God is sitting with all these requests. That is, that there's other people who are praying for other people, other people in other ministries, and, and, and God, they're receiving other requests. That means God must be very busy. If I'm looking at it and say, oh my God, this is a lot. When do I get to everybody? So the same is true in spiritual warfare. Our spiritual battles and warfares are real. Even though they are not seen in the physical, you can't see the, the person attacking you in the physical, but you can be revealed. That person can be revealed in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. There are forces, both angelic, both demonic. They are actively working around you. You have been doing, you tried, you did your best. You have been, you have been eating right. You have been doing things right, but still... There's a dark cloud. There's people who are just passing and, 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 and dying in your family. Every month, it's like a special season. You and the undertakers, every month, there's an undertaker coming to take somebody at your home. If it's not at your home, it's at your relative's home. And you think that's normal? I know life and death is normal that people live and then they have to die. You think it's normal for, 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 for your husband or, or husbands to just leave it's just a pattern you are now on husband number three it's just it's just normal what are you fighting what is fighting you you think it's normal that nobody has ever progressed beyond a particular point in your family you think it's normal that certain things that are taken for granted that are just normal that happen to everybody else are not happening in your families There is an evil and we must fight that evil in our spiritual warfare today. Come on, somebody. You still have me for the next three hours, so you're not going anywhere. Jesus. Jesus said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the work of God that God has proposed for us to accomplish. There is a work that God has proposed for you to accomplish in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Holy Spirit. There's somebody who's having pain on your left hand side, not just not on your shoulder, but below your shoulder. You are having stabbing pains. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. The gates of hell shall not prevail. There is a work that God has proposed for you and you will achieve that work in Jesus' mighty name. His will is being worked out for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need to understand that the battle is not against flesh and blood, but it is against powers in the heavenly places. You have no option. He said, I've seated you in heavenly places. We are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Whether you like it or not, you are already in the battle ring. So you might as well fight. So as we begin to unravel this revelation of spiritual warfare, we will begin to understand how the enemy is moving against us and how the enemy moves against us in the physical realm as well. And then we understand how to conquer in the physical realm. The battles of the spiritual warfare are intense. Yes, Pastor Fortune, they are very intense. They are so intense that they come and strangle us even in the night seasons. 
Sometimes somebody will feel like you are being choked and it's in the daytime and nobody can see the creature that is choking you. It's not normal. You cannot choose to sit this fight out. Come on, somebody. Especially when you decide to step up and you accept Jesus as your savior, you now realize that some of you are saying, I think I shouldn't have been born again because it looks like since I've been born again, it's just been one chaotic issue after the other. It's just been one issue after the other. Uh-uh. Don't think the others are not heavy. They've already sold their souls. Those who are not born again, they sold their souls. And they've accepted defeat. They've accepted turmoil and calamity like that. Come on, somebody. The devil knows what you're carrying. The battles of spiritual warfare are intense, but you are more intense. Your God is more intense and it will give you the victory. The enemy will attack from all angles, ho hoping to dissuade you, hoping to pull you back from Christianity, hoping to pull you back from, from God. He doesn't want you to give your heart fully to Jesus, but you're going to give your heart fully to Jesus. Somebody type war against star hunters and or, or at least confirm what I'm saying and declare along with me in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Minister Amelia, you are in the spirit. So the devil will use circumstances around you. The devil will use events around you. The devil will use events, people, things around you in Jesus' mighty name to put doubt inside your mind, to put doubt inside your heart. There's somebody who's having pain in your pelvic area right now in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your healing. Thank you, Jesus. He wants to plant doubt inside of you. He wants to plant doubt in your mind. He wants to steal your heart away from Jesus. Can, can, you, take, can you take time out just to receive Jesus? Just to receive Jesus. Can you, can you soak in the word and let the word heal you? Let the word heal your migraine right now. I'm teaching you and I'm equipping you. I'm showing you that spiritual warfare has already begun and I'm already fighting for you in the spirit with the word. And the devil is trying to distract some people because they can't even keep attention to what is happening now. They are thinking about their problem. They're busy magnifying the issue that they have been. You came with a burden, I understand. But don't focus on the burden. Can you focus on the word? The Holy Spirit will do the rest. God bless you, Robert. God bless everybody who's giving. So, Father, this morning we rose to wage a warfare. And, Father, we're going to wage this warfare and we're going to win. The Holy Spirit says, I sense the heaviness of pressure that is mounting around you. I sense that the presence of darkness that is mounting around you. I sense that there is a, an enemy that is working at you. I sense that there's, there's a devil that wants to discourage you. God bless you. There's a devil that wants to get you sidetracked. There's a devil that wants to make you fall into temptation. There's a devil that is saying you're going to give up. There's a devil that is saying, I'm going to take my, you're going to take your eyes off Jesus. But no, he's always hanging around you. You need to refuse and you need to say, I'm going to fight. I'm not going to take my eyes off Jesus. I'm not going to fight. Take my eyes off Jesus. My eyes are, I look unto you, Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. I look unto, I will not be discouraged regardless of how long I've been on this situation. I am not going to be discouraged. I'm not moving. I'm not shifting religions. I'm not changing my faith. I'm not, I'm not going to be sidetracked in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we've come this morning morning to declare that we need your supernatural power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because Lord your supernatural power will allow us to be able to stand and your supernatural power will allow us to be strong my God we are not ready to surrender to the devil in the name of Jesus Christ my God we understand that physical force won't help us we don't need the physical force we need the spiritual force because it will manifest itself in the physical in the name of Jesus Christ father you have declared in your word that our weapons of our warfare 
warfare are not carnal, but they are different from those that are being used by the world. They may use guns against each other. They may stab each other. They may bewitch each other and do all sorts of things. But the weapons that we are coming with, my God, they are mighty through God. Come on, somebody. The weapon, my mouth is the weapon in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, my God, I believe, my God, I'm a believer and I walk in the authority of a believer. I am powerful. I can demolish strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. I can demolish those who are lying against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they gather, they gather to scatter. Wherever they gather, they did not gather by me. I did not call that meeting. Therefore, whoever has gathered to call that meeting and talk against me, my God, whoever wants to gather and hunt for my star, my God, they gather to scatter. Let them catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could thunder and amen louder than that in Jesus' name. There are supernatural weapons that we need to, to use. There are supernatural weapons that originate from the throne of grace. There are th supernatural weapons that originate from the heavens in Jesus' mighty name. My God, by your precious blood, Jesus. By your precious blood, Jesus. By your precious name, Jesus. By your precious blood, Jesus. I'm asking you to confuse Satan this morning in the lives of those who are listening to the sound of my voice right now in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, cancel every attempt of the enemy to shut me up. Cancel every the attempts of the enemy to shut down our influence in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare you will be renowned and you will be set apart and you will make impact in Jesus' mighty name. You will be influenced in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil will not shut you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on. By the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, help us not to become discouraged. Help us not to give in when heavy times fall on us. Help us not to give in when the time of testing comes. The time of testing will come, but help us not to, to fall into temptation. Help us to pass the test. Help us to pull through. Help me. Somebody say, help me, Jesus. Help me not to become discouraged. Are you sharing? Are you following? Thank you for those who are following. Follow the account that you are seeing me from. Help me share the broadcast. Help me share the gospel. Help me preach the gospel. That's my ultimate calling on this earth. Thank you, Jesus. By your precious name, by the blood of Jesus, help me not to become discouraged, Lord. Help me not to give in in heavy times. Help me not to give in in testing times. Father, I stand in the gap for that person who's weak. Who's saying, I'm weak. I need strength, oh God. Help me, Lord. Help me when I'm tired. Help me when I'm weak. Because I know you are strong. You are strong, Jesus. Lord, you are my only source of help. I don't have any other options. I've done all I can. I've been sending CVs. I've done all I can. I don't have any other source of help. These children are looking at me. I don't have any other source of help. This mental condition that I'm going through, my God, can I speak to the, somebody's being delivered from bipolar right now. These mental issues that are presenting themselves, my God, they don't have any other source of help except you. We can't be dependent. What if I don't have the money? What if I don't have the money for the psychologist and the psychiatrist and the, and the benefit of drinking all the tablets that will make me feel high and feel at comfort? I just have only one pill and that pill is Jesus. I only have one pill and that pill is the blood of Jesus. I only have one pill, one pill, one tablet. I only have one tablet and that's the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Oh, Shakaliyama. I cannot fight without you, Jesus. I cannot fight without you, God. Lord of hosts, show up for me. Fight my battles. Teach me how to pray. Teach me how to trust in you. Teach me how to pull down strongholds. Teach me to help the helpless as well. Teach me, bless me so that I can become a blessing for others. Guard me from isolation that leaves me exposed and vulnerable. My God, deliver. The Lord is delivering. 
Some of you have been have been in relationships for the sake of money because you're just saying, I just need to manage pastor. I just don't even love this person. I'm just managing because they are financially supporting me. I need you to pray this prayer and say, God, guard me from vulnerability. I've been vulnerable because of the things that I've been going through. I need your help, my God. Don't leave me exposed, Jesus. Because I'm exposed to sugar daddies. I'm exposed to sugar mummies. I'm exposed to being used by men. I'm exposed to, to temptations of prostitution. Don't leave me exposed, Jesus. Don't leave me exposed. Come on, somebody. I only need the source of help, which is God. I only need Holy Spirit to come in. My God. Father, I believe in you. I believe that you have destroyed the power of the enemy. I believe that you conquered death and you resurrected my God. And when I resurrected with you, my God, I believe that I flow in the abundance of life that you have given me. And that abundance of life carries divinity. I believe that I'm a royal priesthood. I believe that I carry divinity inside of me. And because of that divinity, I'm, I'm able to conquer every spiritual attack that comes my way in Jesus' mighty name. I walk in divine prosperity. I walk in divine divine health. My God, I'm not a non-entity. I'm not a miniature. I'm not a nobody. I am a somebody. I'm going somewhere to happen. I have got a destiny that I'm going to fulfill. I've got purpose that I'm going to fulfill in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, I will never give up. I will never give up. God bless those who are gifting. Somebody shout, I will never give up. I will never give up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. The enemy keeps showing up, but I will never give up. God bless you. The enemy keeps whispering in your ear, but I will not give up. The enemy keeps twisting the truth, but I will not give up. The enemy keeps att attempting to deflate me, but I will not give up. The enemy com comes and inflates me with selfish pride. I refuse to be selfish. I, I refuse to be proud. I refuse to be selfish and, and, and to block my answers. I will not give up. He can come up. He can whisper. He can lie. He can twist the truth. He can attempt to inflate my selfish pride. Come on. But I will not give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. Come on, somebody. Oh, I will not give up. Oh, Lord, I'm declaring the devil and his demons are liars today. Somebody say, devil, you are a liar. Devil, you are a liar. Somebody proclaim, devil, you are a liar. Devil, you are a liar. Devil, you are a liar. Your demons are liars. Father, through the power of your precious name and blood, I agree with your word. I agree with the truth of your word that is inside of me that you are greater than my enemy who wants to rule the world. I agree with your word that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. I agree with your word that you are greater than any problem that presents itself to me. You and your word and prayer alone, my God, are my secret weapons. The word, the prayer, and you, oh God, you are my secret weapons. I belong to you, Jesus. And that fills me with powerful confidence. Somebody say, I've got God confidence. By virtue of me belonging to God, I have, I have, I have God confidence. Somebody say, I've got God confidence. God, G-O-D, confidence. God, dash, confidence. God confidence. Father, dress us constantly with the spiritual armor that you have given us. Somebody put on the spiritual armor of God. Help me to use my spiritual armor to defend myself and to defend others from Satan's fiery darts. Somebody come on. Say, I'm, I've got spiritual armor. I'm putting on my spiritual armor. Help me confess it and declare it and say, I'm putting on my spiritual armor in the name of Jesus. No one thing and nothing can snatch me away from Jesus' hand. I am putting on my spiritual armor in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, strengthen, strengthen my faith in you. I decree and I declare that you are strengthened in the faith of God in Jesus' mighty name. Father, make us brave so we can stand and fight the spiritual battles in our lives and in our world in Jesus' mighty name. 
I pray for you right now. I say the Lord will give you wisdom and discernment so you will not be caught off guard. Somebody shout it in the comment section and say, I will not be caught off guard in Jesus' name. I will not be caught off guard. I will not be caught off guard. You are a watchman. You are alert. You are at the post. You are at the gate. Nobody's entering here until they are allowed. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask, we repent, we ask for forgiveness of sins, for anything that is unclean, that may be troubling our righteous status, my God. Father, we ask for bravery, oh God, that we may able be, be able to stand. I declare and I decree that you will win in Jesus' name. You will win because the truth is inside of you. You already have the truth, you will win. Nobody is going to take your star away in Jesus' mighty name. Every knee shall bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Can somebody shout Jesus? Can you call on the name of Jesus? Can you make my Jesus famous this evening? Make my Jesus famous this morning and just shout Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Father, I pray for every single person that is at the sound of my voice that they shall be protected against every all form of evil attacks. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is guiding you from the schemes against, right, against righteousness and those who twist the truth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your enemy is being dealt a serious blow. Oh, can somebody shout in the comment section and say, My star is not for sale? My star is not for sale. My star is not for sale. My star is not for sale. You will not be caught off guard. If you're scrolling through TikTok and you just stumbled on this broadcast, it's not by mistake. It's a destiny meeting for you to get you out of the mess that you're in. So give us a little bit more time. Let the Holy Spirit talk to you. My star is not for sale. Come on, somebody. My star is not for sale. Give me a chance. Give my God a chance. My God. I want you to understand that everybody who is born again has a star. Every child of God has a star. And we don't need to compete. We don't need to fight each other. There is enough space for everyone to manifest. There is enough space for everyone to manifest. What is a star, Pastor Fortune? Explain to me. What star are you talking about? Oh, shakala maasatakania. What is the intention of a star? When you look at the movies and you look at the film industry, you, 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 you see people who are calling themselves stars. That means that you've got an important role to play in a movie. And, and, and in another description, it could mean that somebody is important, somebody is a star performer. Or when you have performed extremely well, even in school, they give you a star. Keep on declaring my star is not for sale. The main character in any film, in any production, is a star. If you think about all the celebrities that you know that call themselves stars, isn't it that we call them stars? Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, show, it shows us that everyone's star is meant to shine. Come on. So people who are very famous, people who are successful, people that we regard as important people, people like musicians, actors, or, or soccer players, we normally call them stars. But I want to introduce you to a different type of star, a star that resides in you, a star, a star that cannot be for sale, a star that you should always declare and protect. The Bible says in Isaiah 60, it says, Arise and shine for your light has come. Arise and shine. What are you shining? You are shining your star. Your star must shine. Your star must speak above the depression. Your star must speak above the darkness that has overcome the world because your light will be brighter. Your light is so bright that it must blind the devil. The devil must not be able to locate you because of your light shining so bright. The devil must be afraid to come close to you. There is nothing that is concerned when your light is shining somebody say my star will shine in Jesus name my star will shine my star will shine come on somebody let's declare together my star will shine keep sharing keep sharing keep tapping my star will shine 
every child of God is born with a star and the enemy can see it. The enemy can actually see it. I've been approached where I'm told there's a star on you. There's something shining over your head. And that's what has drawn me to you. The enemy can see your star. It was the star of Jesus that announced his destiny. If they did not see the star, they would not have known that he was born. The star of your destiny will announce you to the world. Hallelujah. Your, the star of your destiny will announce you to your world in Jesus' mighty name. So everybody has got a star. Your star is meant to promote you in life. Somebody declare, I shall be promoted. Your star is meant to promote you in life. I want you to declare, I will be promoted in Jesus' name. But I want to say to those whose star has been imprisoned, those who traded their stars, those who, who traded their stars, you sold your star and you didn't realize you were selling your star. Some of you sold your star negligently through fluid contacts, through sexual relations. Some of you, you sold your stars. You didn't realize when, when, when evil people were laying hands on you. Some of you were shaking hands and your stars were taken away. And today I want you to declare and demand and say, I'm taking my star back wherever it is located in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm taking it back. Lord, open up my eyes to see there's those who are star hunters who are trying to take. Do you understand that you can have a friend that is becoming wealthy and wealthy and you don't realize that they're actually operating on your star? I will be promoted in Jesus name. Some people are unable to, uh, to see and identify that the, your friend has actually brought you close to them because they want to operate your star. It's not that they like you. They might pretend as if they like you, but they want to be better than you. And that's why they are busy manipulating your star. And the more you keep on disclosing things to them, you have opened up yourself to be a target. Father, right now I pray for everybody listening to the sound of my voice. Everywhere your star has been caged and imprisoned in Jesus' mighty name. Everywhere where you traded your star or anybody who is sitting on your star right now, I command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them catch fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire burn them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everything concerning them scatter. Jesus. Jesus. Some, there's a lady you lost your 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 fiance he was about to become your fiance and your friend is now dating that person the lord says i'm about to scatter that relationship to prove to you that your star has been restored I'm about to scatter that relationship just to prove to you and to show you that I've restored your star. Come on, somebody. Anybody sitting on your star, I command them to release that star by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody sitting on your star, I command them to release that star by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that star be released now when we are talking about a person star we are talking about your uniqueness your value proposition what is it about you you are unique when we are talking about your star we are talking about your divine attributes come on somebody when we are talking about your star we are talking about the measure of light that has been given to you that you are shining through the level of your light how far your light is going some of you are gloomy because your star has been taken away you don't understand because every time you enter into rooms people actually walk away from you they don't want to sit next to you nobody is attracted to talk to you nobody wants to talk to you because your light has been dimmed And I want you to declare and open up your mouth 
as you show me in the comment section and say, Lord, let my light shine. Let my star shine. Let the shine return to my star in Jesus' mighty name. Let my star shine. Irene, you need to declare that let your star shine. That is what you need to be doing right now. Come on, somebody. Let us get back our shine. Get back your shine. Get back your star from the star hunters. Come on, somebody. Those who are wanting to bring you down, they've just been waiting for you. Just immediately when you rise and they're there, they want to destroy you. My God. When we talk about your star, we are talking about the value that God has given you. What is your value? Why do you feel valueless? Why all of a sudden things were beautiful in your relationship, in your marriage at the beginning, but now it's looking like your husband or your wife does not value you at all. Where's your star? Come on, somebody. Oh, Jesus. When we talk about your star, we are talking about the greatness that must be seen from your life. There is a greatness that must manifest. There is a greatness that must show forth in your life. When we talk about your star, we're talking about the pronouncements of your achievements and fulfillments. When you are not achieving anything, you are not fulfilling anything, you are in a cycle of non-achievement, you are in a cycle of non-fulfillment. That means there is a something that has been done to your star and you need to fight and get it back in Jesus' mighty name. When I'm talking about your star, I'm talking about that thing that you have been destined to become. Why are you not walking even close to that direction? Why are you not seeing yourself becoming into the coming into the destiny that God has called you for? Oh Jesus, help me, Lord. First Corinthians 15:31 helps me understand that there's even categories in terms of stars. There are those who are created to be deliverers in their generation and to their generation, and they're not even operating in that calling. You are supposed to deliver your generation, but you are caught napping because you don't understand that there are principalities that are fighting you that have stolen your star. There are those who are born to rule and lead others but you're not coming into your 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 seat of leadership because you keep on thinking that it's humility you keep on thinking and playing small there are those who are born to rewrite their family's history you know when you're looking at your family's history nobody has achieved anything nobody And you need to rewrite your family history. Somebody declare with me and say, I will rewrite my family history. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody declare your rulership. You know you've been called to leadership. You have to rule and lead others. Stop messing around. Stop thinking that you've got it. You must work while it's day because night will soon come. There are those who are born to destroy the works of Satan in their family and those around them, but they're not doing that. They're busy kidnapping and doing other things, wasting time. When you're supposed to bring deliverance, you are born to rule and lead others. You are born to destroy the works of the enemy in your family and those around you, but you are not doing any of that. You are busy crying. Listen, it is okay to cry for a little while, but do it while crying if you don't want to stop crying. Cry in private and come out and win. Win in public. Walk with your head, with your shoulders up and with your head up high. Destroy the works of the enemy in your family. Who are you waiting for to deliver your family? It is you who is supposed to deliver your family. They don't know how to do it. They are walking in darkness. They are not born again. They don't understand. They didn't show up on this broadcast. They didn't hear what you're hearing. You don't have an excuse to go back and live the same kind of life and say that life is life. This is life. This is how things roll. This is how, you know, like, I mean, if you are from a poor family, you are from a poor. No, you are born to rewrite the history of your family. You're going to rewrite the history of your family. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. 
There are those who are born to preach the word of God, but so for some reason, your friends have diluted it so much, they'd say, it's not a cute thing. It's not a cool thing to be there. It's not a cool thing to preach. Be a professional. I'm a professional. I preach the word of God. I've met medical doctors who preach the word of God. So why do you think you're so, you, you, you are too big to preach the word of God? Is it because you're afraid that you'll be poor? Because they look down on, on, on preachers? Is it because you feel like you don't have thick skin? That they will come and tell you that you are a woman preacher, you shouldn't be preaching? What is holding you back? What are you waiting for? Nobody shall be held back anymore in Jesus' mighty name. Your star will attract two kinds of people. Your star will attract those who admire it, number one. And it will also attract those who want to fight it. Those who want to war against it. There are those who are attracted to you because they admire it genuinely. There are those who are attracted to your star because they want to fight it. You need to understand what will happen to your star or what can happen to your star so that you can be more protective of your star. Am I communicating, guys? Are you tracking with me? Your star is the representation uh, of, of life to, to you know, um, it, it is representative of life. Everything concerning you in your life, it is a representation of it. If anybody touches the star that you carry, he has basically touched your life, that your very essence. He has touched your very essence. Somebody is getting rich on the benefit of your star. And no, it's not because they are, you are saying, I'm working 15 hours a day for this person. No. And I, I keep on speaking and I keep on saying, and I know nobody likes preachers who talk about holiness. But some of you who have been sleeping with your sugar daddies and everything else, I don't know whether it's happening in the in other countries, but some of you, it's a momentary moment of joy that you are going through right now. It's it's a temporary joy. Love you too, Dr. Kathy. It's a temporary moment of joy. Because that thing that you are sleeping with, it's not the human being. You are sleeping with a, a demonic being that is busy taking away your star. And no matter how much they can dash you, they can, they can give you all the money and you can wear all the Louis Vuittons imaginable under the sun. Be careful, your star is more important. Restore back my star, Lord. Thank you for that person. Thank you. When you realize that, yeah, no, something, there was an exchange that happened. I don't know if I shared this story earlier today or was it yesterday that somebody's star was stolen and the person is in a relationship with this person but is actually in a relationship with a demonic force thank you for those who are following thank you so much guys i see you thank you for those who are sharing and tapping and, and, and sending the likes and the purpose of this creature that is keeping this woman is, is, is just an evil manipulation of the star. And the person has been asking, how come you don't, you don't even sleep with me? You don't ask me for sex. They don't understand. So these things operate in different dimensions. Come on, somebody. Our God is merciful. He can perfect your star and add good things to it. But wicked people will like to cage your star. They want to cage your star. They want to change it for the bad. They want to operate it in an evil way. They want to use your gift in an evil way. Let me talk. The Holy Spirit is making me go here. Let me go. Some of you who have realized you are gifted, 
You have the gifts of the Holy Spirit that is operating inside of you. But if you keep on going to wrong places, you're going to be taken through initiate, initiations. And those initiations are going to open up the door to the devil because your gifts are going to be manipulated. That is why it is possible to go for the initiation that you thought you are going for training, that you are going to be trained as a Sangoma, but what you were actually doing, you actually left your star with the person who was supposedly training you. And you went back and you found out suddenly, who am I talking to? You can come up, talk to me. You, you found out that your dreams and your visions were actually taken away after you came back from the training. When you came back from the training, you, 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 your visions and dreams were gone. You went and, 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 Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Cook's love, thank you for confirming it. your pursuit to try and figure out you thought you were told you are a medium you were told that you you opened the door to familiar spirits coming in but in that process you were actually suppressed your star was suppressed because now all of a sudden thank you so much Sandra for subscribing all of a sudden Thank you for those who are confirming. God bless you. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Thank you for the prayers. You got sick. You went to the place. What do they call it? I, I don't know what they I forgot. I've even now forgotten the Zulu word for it. Your star is being restored in Jesus' mighty name. Let's retrieve our stars. Some of you were taken to certain places for protection. And in that process, you thought you had been protected, but your star was being taken away. And some of you were saying, I went with my friend, and my friend actually has my best interest at heart. And my friend knew that voodoo or juju or witchcraft was being performed on me. And he was trying to help me to be delivered. But in fact, you were actually re they were taking your star away at that time. There's a specific lady here. You used to pray for people and they would be healed. You used to lay hands on, on people and they would be healed. But you went and submitted some way. Oh my God, let me get out of there. You went and submitted somewhere. I will not say what kind of establishment it is because I don't want to be touching anybody's anointed. But you will confirm to me. Since you went there, you realized that all of a sudden you couldn't. You No healing was had, taking place anymore. Thank you for confirming, Mabel. You've been unable... You knew there was a gift because you used to dream about it. You used to pray for people in your dreams. Am I communicating to somebody? Thank you for everybody who's following and thank you for those who are tapping. I love you and all those who are sharing. I really honor you and may God bless you. Somebody say, restore my star, Lord. Restore my star. There are things that the enemy can do to your star. Once they know you are going to become great in the future. And what are those things, Pastor Fortune? Your star can be changed. They can change your star. They can change your star. You were supposed to be great. You were supposed to be doing certain things in a better way, in a good way. You were supposed to be helping people. There's a story that I heard of a doctor who was drinking uh, 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 water from newborn babies. 
just to show you how 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 stars can be changed for the worst secondly your star can be quenched somebody say my star will not be quenched as I'm teaching this I need you to declare with me and say my star cannot be changed my star will not be changed Father, I declare my star will not be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare no wonder star shall not be changed. My husband's star shall not be changed. Someone's star shall not be changed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. None of my siblings' star, star shall be changed. None of my family relatives' star shall be changed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. None of my ministry members' star, star shall be changed. None of my followers' star shall be changed in Jesus' mighty name. I decree it and I declare it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that your light, your star shall not be quenched. It will not be quenched. When your star is quenched, you are suddenly, you are rich and suddenly you are, you are poor. Just like that, overnight. Overnight. You were rich consistently, everything was moving well. And overnight, overnight suddenly find yourself in the worst levels and depths of poverty come on somebody somebody say my star will not be quenched my star will not be quenched quenched it will not be quenched the thing that thing that will happen is that the, your star can be transferred jesus somebody's right ear is being healed right now in jesus mighty name your star can be transferred I want you to declare, as I'm teaching you these things, what can happen to your star, I want you to confess in the comment section and say the opposite and say, my star shall not be transferred. I retrieve my star wherever it has been transferred. My star will not be transferred. I retrieve my star. Come on, somebody. Keep tapping on the screen, guys. A star can be transferred. There is somebody who had to marry physically marry three of his daughters three of his daughters married in a coven my god there's somebody who's listening to me right now the reason why in your family you are struggling to get marital settlement it is because for your father to get the wealth, they had to marry you in a coven. Nothing is coming right. You guys are like stooges. You are all just, just homebound. You're just housebound. You're not going anywhere. You're just working. You're coming back. You keep on asking your parents, what's wrong? Why is it that we are not being successful? Am I talking to somebody? I'm talking to several people actually on this issue. Several people are affected by this issue. Several people are affected by this issue. People are very evil, my darling. As I'm even talking, I'm seeing several sanitary pads disappearing because of a fight between siblings, between your mother and your auntie. Your mother is now late. Your auntie took away your sanitary pad and vowed that you will never be married, that she is actually going to spite your mother. Talk to me. And your auntie is not even talking to you anymore. Father, we retrieve our stars from every coven in the name of Jesus Christ. Any altar where our stars are tied down, my God, we retrieve them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Kalama soto kodiyamasa. There are some of you. Oh, kalama soto In your family, young people die, but old people stay there for long. He, old people don't die, but only the young ones die. My God. Sorry, I just entered somebody's house now. Shalobakoniyama satakaniyama satakaliyaba. 
Jina na 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 masoko ni ya masoto kodi ya mahasa takadi ya ma. Liya ba 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 shoko ni ya masoto kodi ya mahasa takadi ya basata. Rakola mashando ni ya masa takadi ya masa takadi ya ba. Hmm. Thank you for the confirmations. So you begin to understand that where the order of the day is now that all the young people in the family are dying, but the old people still remain. That star has been punctured. I want you to declare that my star shall not be punctured. A star can be slowed down. Keep on declaring and say, I will not be slowed down. My star shall not be slowed down in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you, you have been starting ministries and your ministries are failing to grow even beyond 20 people. The star has been manipulated. You are being slowed down because you are not experiencing the growth. You are loaded. You are you are blessed. You are loaded. You are loaded. It's not that you're not called. I want to talk to that pastor right now who's listening to the sound of my voice. That person who's in ministry and nothing ever seems to go further. And you know you've got a calling and you've been quite discouraged because every single meeting you call, it's like not even up to 20 people come. Not even 20 people come through. Your star has been slowed down, my darling. You need to rise up. You need to pray more. You need to fight more. Some people have been trying to break, break through and leave their backgrounds where they are coming from. And every time they travel, there's always something wrong with their immigration papers. There's always something wrong and they get deported. And they've done nothing wrong. Come on, somebody. Who is the Holy Ghost talking to right now? You've been trying to leave your country. You've been trying to immigrate. You get jobs and you're trying to get to those jobs. But when you get there, something gets you back deported again and again and again. Somebody say, I'm taking my star back in Jesus' name. <coughs> There's somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice. You've got five sisters. You are five sisters. There's five girls in your family. And you have all been sent away by your husbands. You have been sent away by your husbands. You've been told you are, you are, they, they want to actually divorce you. None of you, your marriages are not working. You went and you did not even last long. Who am I talking to? Who is trying to bury your star? Somebody declare with me and say, my star shall not be buried in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare, my star shall not be buried in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Abda, God bless you. May God lift you up. Thank you for that confirmation. But it, it is not good news. But if it gives you the freedom, I'm very sorry about that divorce, okay? May God restore you and give you somebody who is deserving of you but for now just focus on god and just refuel yourself somebody say my star shall not be buried in the name of jesus christ my star shall not be buried in the name of jesus christ my star shall not be buried come on come on pray for your children pray for your siblings pray for your relatives my relatives uh, stars shall not be hidden they shall not be buried in the name of jesus christ some of you have been having dreams where every time you are dreaming you are dreaming of yourself being put inside a pot if it's not a pot it's always a hole you are always finding yourself inside a hole and this is not the sleep paralysis kind because you are not even trying to dig yourself up every time you are surrounded by a, a, a hole just just you are in a hole 
Who am I talking to? My star shall not be buried. They've been trying to bury you in your dreams. They've been manipulating you in your dreams. They are trying to bury you in your dreams. Jesus. None of your bloodline stars shall be buried in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Somebody says they've actually been dreaming about the manhole. Oh Jesus. Tia in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that I release you from that dream right now in Jesus mighty name. Everything that has been talking to you in that dream. My God. I cancel it in Jesus mighty name. I send it back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak deliverance on Tia right now in Jesus' mighty name. You are coming out of that manhole in Jesus' mighty name. You will never be physically in that manhole. You are coming out spiritually right now in Jesus' mighty name. Some of the requests on the confessions are coming in faster. Oh, but it's okay, it's okay. As long as the Holy Spirit has done it, I'm good. A star can become quite dark instead of shining. A star can become dark. Job chapter 3, verse 9 says, Let the stars of its early dawn be dark. Let the morning wait in vain for the light. Let it not see the eyelids of morning, the day's dawning. So it is possible that your star can be manipulated to be dark instead of shining. Somebody please confess and declare with me and say, My star shall not be darkened in the name of Jesus Christ. My star shall not be darkened in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare, my star will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Your star sh shall not be exchanged. You will not be, your star shall not be exchanged. Some people's stars have been exchanged to their life to, to the extent that they are living like it, they are just a goat, you know? A star can be cast down. Daniel 8 verse 10 says, And in my vision, this a horn, a horn grew up to the host of heaven and caused some of the host of, and some of the stars to fall to the earth and it trampled on them. So I want you to pray with me right now and declare and say, My star shall not fall down. Because stars can fall, and when they have fallen, they can be trampled upon. My God, I declare and I decree, none of my stars shall fall down. None of my stars shall be trampled upon in Jesus' mighty name. My stars shall not be trampled upon. My, my, my children's stars shall not be trampled upon. My siblings, none of my bloodline, none of them, none of their stars shall fall in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to understand that a star can be caused to wander about. You're always wandering. Your life, you're just meandering just through life. There is no progress. There is no way where you are going. You are just meandering, meandering. My God. You are like a, a vagabond. You are just in and out. The Bible says in Jude 1 13, it says, Wild waves of the sea flinging up their own shame like foam, wandering stars for whom the gloom of deep darkness has been reserved forever. You will that will not be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Can somebody say, I'm not a vagabond? I'm not a vagabond. My star will never be a vagabond. You will that vagabond spirit will never be attached to your star in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree you will not have a wandering spirit. You will not be wandering about without purpose in life, without direction. You will not have a wandering spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. You have good certificates. You've got the greatest qualifications, but you've been wandering jobless for years. My God, my God, my God. Somebody retrieve your star right now. Ah, kanama shoto kodia masa takadia beshe kedia maso kodia masa takadia. Ika la 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 masoto kodia masa takadia. There are several people that receive immigration uh, approval. Uh, is it visa approvals? 
They had been trying for years. Somebody failed three years in succession and they have retrieved their visas. They got their visas. Somebody is actually traveling by this weekend. My God, my God. Let me help you identify whether your star has been manipulated. What happens when your star is under attack? My God, can somebody ask the Holy Spirit and say, God, is my star under attack? Is my star under attack? Millicent, your star has been under attack. Somebody ask me, ask me, ask me, ask me. Is my star under attack? You've been under attack for quite some time. Is my star under attack? How do you know when your star is under attack? You lack favor. Why is favor not speaking for you? I want you to declare and say right now, I, I receive the favor of God and the favor of men in Jesus' mighty name. I walk in the favor of God and I walk in the favor of men in Jesus' mighty name. I decree it and I prophesy it over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, all around you there's been destruction and there's dryness. Everything is dry. When everything is dry and everything is being destroyed around you, your star is under attack. There are people who can help you, but they are unwilling to help you. Your star is under attack. Your star is under attack. Oh, shana na na masoka na mahasata kadiaba. Maureen, how are you doing? Your star is under attack when you're constantly suffering from an incurable sickness. Come on, somebody. Oh, shana na na ma kadia ma soko niya ma shata kadia ma so. Maureen, 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 Maureen. I'm moving on. Kalama shoko diya maso, shoko diya masi. Your star is under attack when you are, your life is just stagnant. You are just always under stagnancy in Jesus' mighty name. Your star is under attack when you are experiencing barrenness. You need to fight and you need to say, I'm taking back my star. I decree and I declare that I'm fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be barren in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's a guy called Martin. You've been looking for help and help has not been coming. And you've been looking for help. And there's people around you that can help. There's actually your friends. You've got two friends that are able to help you, but they've not been able to help you. Somebody declare, I'm fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm favored in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm coming out of barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ. Your star is under attack when you everything you are laboring, you are working, but there's unprofitable labor. You don't even know what you're doing ab about your money. Receive your deliverance right now in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody declare that I will not labor in vain. I will not labor in vain. I will not labor in vain. I will not labor in vain in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of delay constantly on you. Spirit of delay constantly on you. Your star is under attack. Come on, somebody. You need to uh, you need to attack. Somebody type no more delay. No more delay. No more delay. 
No more delay in the name of Jesus Christ. Every venture that you are trying to take, you are starting a business, everything fails. Everything that you try and do, every project that you start, it fails. Come on, somebody. I deliver you from that failure. I deliver you from that spirit of failure. I deliver you right now. Your star is being restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Karen, you've been trying a lot of things and you keep on failing. It's like you start and the thing doesn't work out and you wonder and you change. You've been changing businesses. Karen, There's a lady, I'm trying to see your name in the spirit, but you sell tap away, tap away, tap away. The Holy Spirit says, I need to help you get delivered. And the Lord is saying, I'm opening multiple streams of income. No longer will you rely from that business because in fact, that business has not been doing so well. You can identify yourself. He says there's doors are opening for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your star is no longer going to be under attack in the name of Jesus. Somebody retrieve your star. Father, I deliver those who have been having repeated miscarriages, miscarriages, miscarriages. You've been having miscarriages. My God, my God, let deliverance, let the Holy Spirit touch that person right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are feeling the fire of the Holy Spirit right above your navel right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as a confirmation, the Lord is saying, I am restoring your womb in the name of Jesus Christ. No more miscarriages in Jesus' mighty name. No more miscarriages in Jesus' mighty name. What do you do? Pastor Fortune, what should I do? I want my star to shine. What is the Holy Spirit saying? I want my star to shine. Those of you who have not given your life to Christ, that is the first departure point. I can tell you for that for sure. I can pray and prophesy as much as you want, but if you're not born again, you ain't getting it. And the second thing you need to do, you need to pray to release your star in Jesus' mighty name. And the third thing you need to do is to be obedient to the word of God. You have to be obedient to the word of God. So let me help those of you who are not born again. If you are not born again, say, that's me, pastor, lead me to Christ right now. Don't joke with this, with this, with this, with this moment. If you're not born again, I need you to lift up your hand right now. Just say, that's me. That's me. I need the prayer. Just say, type, that's me so that I can pray for you right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is, this is, the, you see how fast they are, they are typing, that's me? That's how fast heaven is receiving them and, and changing their situation. Now repeat these words after me. Father God, my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands from wherever you are. As you are listening to the sound of my voice, I want you to repeat these words after me and we will continue after. Father God, we come before you with all humility. Father, we stand. Everybody who has said that's me, everybody who's lifting their hands in the comment section as they repeat these words after me in Jesus' mighty name. With all heaven's humility, Jesus, I come before you Father, I'm tired of doing things my way. Father, help me to start doing things in your way. I admit that I'm a sinner. I confess all my sins. I repent of all my sins. And I renounce them now in the name of Jesus. I divorce sin. I divorce Satan. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Forgive me, Lord, for all my transgressions. I believe that you sent Jesus to die for me. Your only begotten son. I believe it in my heart. I confess it with my mouth. 
and that through this confession, I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I invite you, Jesus, to come and live inside of me. Be the Lord over my life. Take control and take charge. Help me for my star to be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. He died. I believe that Jesus was buried. I believe that Jesus resurrected. And by virtue of his death, his burial, his resurrection, I went through the same process. And right now, Father God, all my sins have been washed away, blotted out by the blood of Jesus. I am pure as white as snow. Curses have been removed from my life. I walk in the light of your marvelous light in Jesus' name. I declare and I decree I'm born again. Fill every empty space in my life. Fill, fill every emptiness that I have felt. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, O oh God. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And I will go through a water baptism as well. I'm sealed by the blood of Jesus. I'm protected in the hedge of Christ in Jesus' mighty name. Now I declare that I'm a new creation. The old man has gone. The old has passed away. Nobody can accuse me. I'm a new creature in Christ in Jesus' name. I'm enlisted as a soldier of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm a part of the winning army of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and my household in Jesus' mighty name. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to say a resounding amen. I want you to shout that amen loud right now. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to say amen right now type that amen let me see how many souls were, were won for jesus tonight let me see how many souls have been won for jesus amen and amen come on somebody come on somebody come on somebody somebody give jesus a shout of praise give jesus a shout of praise god is being glorified this evening hallelujah god is being glorified this morning in jesus mighty name healings are happening everywhere by virtue of you having just said that prayer right now i declare that you are healed from whatever infirmity that you came in with in jesus mighty name healings oh my god jesus my God, my God, my God. Guys, after the broadcast, I want you to go to the video that you will find that is pinned. And you just say, I'm born again. You just declare. Just, just say, I'm born again. Just type that in the comment section. I want to see all the people that got born again today. And I want to rejoice and I want to keep on praying for you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, your stars have been returned in Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. We are about to engage in warfare, but I need people to celebrate this moment. This right here is the reason why God called me. This right here is the reason why we exist. This right here is the reason why we are ministers of reconciliation. We are populating the kingdom of God. The kingdom of hell is being depopulated in the name of Jesus Christ. Stars are being returned in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Somebody shout it again and say, I'm warring against star hunters. I'm declaring a war against star hunters. Oh, Jesus. We are moving into the, the, the second phase of our session tonight. We are going to war now. We're going to war. We're going to be praying. Oh, Jesus. Somebody declare, my star must shine tonight. My star must shine tonight. Oh, shanda namakala bahasata kadiaba. Oh, Jesus. I decree and I declare. Every single power that is emanating from your birthplace that has been working against your star. I command it to catch fire right now in Jesus' name. 
every power that has been coming from your birthplace, coming from altars from your father's house, coming from altars from your mother's house, right now I command it to catch fire and die in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I rise and I stand in the gap as a watchman, my God. I stand in the gap as an intercessor. I stand in the gap with the calling that you have called me, my God. I stand in the gap with the oil that is upon my head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I declare and I decree that every power of Pharaoh that does not want our stars to shine right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare that those powers are a liar and they will die in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Jesus, thank you Lord. Every power of witchcraft that has been hanging over your star, right now I command it to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody shout, shout that amen well? Somebody shout that amen well. Every power of witchcraft that has been hovering around your star, I command it to die right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout that amen well. I speak to every arrow of that, every arrow that has been fired towards your star to demote you. They fired arrows to demote you. I command them to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that your day of greatness has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Your day of greatness has come. Thank you for those who are following. Thank you for those who are tapping. Thank you for those who are sharing the likes, lives and who are tapping. Thank you so much for all who are gifting. Thank you for everybody who's following me, my God. Father, I pray for all the followers, all those who are part of this family, my God, in Jesus' mighty name right now. I decree and I declare that every evil monitoring power that has been assigned against their star in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that they receive blindness, every monitoring spirit, every evil monitoring spirit. I don't know whether it came through as a person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody who's part of this family right now in Jesus' mighty name, I command blindness to catch your evil monitoring spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that has been saying your day of greatness shall not manifest, my God, I command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command every power that has been mocking our stars in the name of Jesus Christ, I command them to and let them know that their time is up. They are catching fire. They will have to die. Instead of you dying, they shall be laid, laid, laid to rest in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. My God, every curse from your father's house, every curse from your mother's house, I command it to break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout it out loud. And you shout it out loud. And you say, my enemies, hear the word of the Lord. Wherever you are, wherever you knocked me, right now I'm rising, my God. Wherever they knocked you down, that shall be your point of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever the enemy attacked you, I command that area to be your area of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. I command it to be your area of breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody you have been having chronic chronic what do you call it sinuses you didn't have them from birth they just started haphazardly and because of these chronic sinuses you've not been able to keep a job in fact whenever you go to the hospital you've also been diagnosed of asthma and an issue on the sinuses you are unable to even have a meaningful job because everything just affects you you're just allergic to everything right now i command your healing to take place and to take to take delivery of your healing right now in jesus name thank you jesus that area where the enemy thought he's knocking you down that is your area of breakthrough in jesus mighty name Every curse that has been issued from your father's house and your mother's house is broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every yoke. Those of you on Facebook and on YouTube, I've not forgotten about you. Kala 
abasoto kore abahasata. Every yoke upon your star, I command it to break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke, I command it to break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke, I command it to break in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke upon your star, I command it to break in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout that amen if you believe it. Shout that amen if you believe it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is mocking your star? Every single power that is mocking your star. Your time is up in Jesus' mighty name. Every Goliath that has been fighting Every Goliath from the powers of your foundation In the name of Jesus Christ Father, I address every ancestral curse That has been waiting for the day of our glory I command it to die I don't know who is that person ancestral powers have been fighting you they have been waiting for you to pass out but instead of you passing out and passing away they will pass out and pass away in jesus name your glory shall manifest in jesus mighty name oh father any shrine any altar where our footprints have been taken to we command that altar and that shrine to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every altar, every shrine, where your footprints have been taken to, I command it to catch fire. Every altar, every shrine, where your pictures have been taken to, where your names have been mentioned, my God, I command it to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody ready to recover your star? Oh, let your star be too hot for the devil to handle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every imagination against my star, I command it to be dismantled in the name of Jesus Christ. As you shout that amen, you are tapping in and you are in agreement with me and so shall it be in your life. Every imagination against your star, I dismantle it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let every star hunter from my father's house, my mother's house, my friends, my frenemies, everybody, every evil star hunter, my God, let them be put to shame. 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 Put to shame. Put to shame. Somebody shout, I shall not be ashamed. I shall not be ashamed. I shall not walk in reproach. I shall not be ashamed. Any evil hunter of my star shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise. Rescue my star from the hands of satanic and en 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 enchanters. Somebody shout it out loud with me. Pray it out loud with me. Holy Ghost, arise. Recover my star from those evil enchantments. The diviners, whoever is busy chanting your name right now. They're chanting your name. They're gathered with your name right now. Father, we recover our stars from wherever the enchanters are gathered. From wherever the diviners are gathered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, we retrieve our stars. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you will go. God bless you, NY. Everywhere. Everywhere you will go. Your star will shine. Your destiny shall arise. Your destiny shall arise and it will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that your destiny shall arise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Somebody type in the comment section, I must arise. I must manifest the glory of God. I must arise and I must manifest the glory of God. I am arising and I'm, I'm, I'm manifesting the glory of God. I am arising and I'm manifesting the glory of God. I'm rising and I'm manifesting the glory of God. I am arising and I'm manifesting the glory of God. As I'm, as I'm saying that somebody is being healed of a headache in Jesus' mighty name, chronic headaches are lifted. My God, my God, my God, you are rising and you will manifest the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Shamona maya la maya la 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 ma sokori ya ma hasata kari ya ma sekedi ya ba. Holy Spirit, locate, locate my needs, O God. Locate my star and let it, my star be retrieved in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody keep on declaring, I'm rising and I'm manifesting the glory of God. God bless you. God bless those who are following. God bless those who are gifting as well. I'm rising. I'm rising. I'm manifesting the glory. I will arise and I will shine. I will arise above the depression. I will arise above the stagnancy. I will arise above every single form of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Larry, God bless you. Strawberry, God bless you. Father, rearrange our life. Position us for uncommon breakthroughs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall arise and rearrange your life and position you for uncommon breakthroughs. Come on, somebody pray along with me. Somebody declare this right now. I prophesy uncommon breakthroughs, a realignment, a rearrangement in your life. My God, I prophesy uncommon breakthroughs, uncommon breakthroughs, uncommon breakthroughs in Jesus' mighty name. In any area, whatsoever area that you are weak in your life karabasoto kodia masakata mandede de de beshia whatever area of weakness that has been giving access to the devil whatever area in your life that has been giving access to the enemy to attack your star father i close that access gate right now in jesus mighty name I close that excess gate in the name of Jesus Christ. I close that excess gate in the name of Jesus Christ. Miranda, Miranda, Kalabashoto The favor of God is upon you in Jesus' name. New hope is resurrecting inside of you. Zot, a new hope is resurrecting inside of you. The Zod I'm speaking to you do not even have money for electricity right now. Amanda, you have not been able to work and a lot of things have not been well concerning your health. Right now, you are even sitting in darkness because you don't have electricity in your house not because you are load shedding it's because you don't have the money I speak favor upon your life in Jesus mighty name I speak favor on your life in Jesus name thank you Jesus Every mountain of difficulty that has been confronting your star, I command it to be leveled to the ground in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I command it to be leveled in Jesus' mighty name. Every mountain of difficulty, everything that has been confronting your star, difficulties confronting your star, I command them to be leveled right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is releasing an anointing to make you a divine wonder. Somebody say, I'm a divine wonder. Come on, somebody. Let me receive the anointing to become a divine wonder. Fall on me. I'm a divine wonder. I'm a divine wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the anointing to become a divine wonder fall on me in Jesus' mighty name. Father, make me a mysterious wonder. Make me a mysterious wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree that the lives of those who are listening to the sound of my voice right now, they are being lifted beyond human explanation. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. 
You are being lifted beyond human explanation because they will not be able to explain by virtue of where and the direction of where your life was and where your direction you were going. You were not supposed to have made it, but things are going to be different. You're going to get compliments even from Monday because they're going to notice that the star has begun to shine. You won't even have had, you wouldn't even have had to buy anything yet. But your star, your, your star will already be shining. They're going to recognize it in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say beyond human explanation. I'm being lifted beyond human explanation. I'm being lifted beyond human explanation. I'm being lifted beyond human explanation. God is going to convert your life. He's going to convert your life. You're going to be a divine phenomenon. Oh, somebody call on divinity. I'm a divine phenomenon. Every power that has been waiting to witness you fail, my God. I shake that serpent into the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. That serpent that has been saying, you will not, you will not be successful, but you will fail. We shake off that serpent. I want you to even make it like this, where you just, you know, shake your hand off. Whatever serpent that has tried to bite your hand, shake it off, shake it off. Somebody say in the comment section, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake off that failure. Shake off that serpent of failure. Shake it off. I shake it off. I shake off every attack of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Every area of my life that has been welcoming serpents of darkness, I shake you off. Every area by the blood of Jesus, I'm closing to the door of any serpent entering my life, coming to, to, to run helter-skelter as if you are my friend. I close the door to every single serpent in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil observer of time who has been observing you and monitoring you, any evil observer of time that has been assigned to monitor you, my God, I command them to receive blindness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every monitoring spirit is receiving blindness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Let our star arise. Let my star reject the voice of the enemy. Let my star reject the voice of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every star, every star, it will reject the enemy's voice. It will reject the voice of the darkness. It will reject my star, reject the voice of darkness. Reject the voice of neg negativity. Reject the voice of doubt in Jesus' mighty name. Please don't use crying emojis, my darling. I'm still with you. God knows your heart. God, gets, God can see your tears. Every evil observer is blinded in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil observer is blinded in the name of Jesus Christ. Every poverty of darkness, every poverty of darkness that has been in your possession, targeting your future, I command it to be removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The angels of war have woken up to defend you right now. The angels of war are at work right now. I wish somebody could dispatch your angels of war in any direction that you see that you want to dispatch them. The angels of war are around us right now in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know whether you see them. Can you see the angels around me? The angels of war are already here. Come on, somebody. Angels of war, defend my star. Come on, somebody, let's pray. Defend my star. Defend my star. Spirit of the living God, overshadow me. Overshadow every single place, every single person who's at the sound of my voice. Spirit of the living God, overshadow, overshadow, overshadow us. Spirit of Jehovah, incubate us. In the name of Jesus. Incubate me, Lord. Incubate me and overshadow me. Incubate me and overshadow me. 
Hide me in your shed of your wings, oh God. Incubate me, overshadow me in Jesus' mighty name. A heart condition is being healed right now. There's a heart condition being addressed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome to confirm for me, please. That pain that you have been feeling, your heart has been feeling, there's been a pressing on your left hand side. Even the lungs, somebody's being healed on your lungs. Somebody also on your collarbone. You've been experiencing pain throughout the day. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare healing. I declare healing in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you to those who are tapping. Thank you for those who are following. Thank you for those who are participating and preaching with me in the comment section. God bless you. Thank you for those who are confirming. Thank you, Jesus. It is done, Jumza. It done. It's done. Use our eight four four. I don't know your name, but I've just pinned your testimony now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you felt that, right? That pain is gone in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that Jesus did not plant, if God did not plant it in your body, I command it to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. Junior, congratulations. Junior says, my headache is gone. Thank you, Jesus. Chosen one, you're nauseous. Every evil plantation in you right now, it goes in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus, it's coming in fast and furious now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything that God did not plant in your body, I command it to be flushed out right now in Jesus' mighty name. If you have the edge of vomiting, please help me get a bucket or something. Go get, get yourself into a bathroom and, 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 and take it out. It's not unusual that when we go through this process that these things... I saw that person, uh, I saw that testimony about the pelvic uh, pain going as well in Jesus' name. I command every pain to leave you right now in Jesus' mighty name. As you tap into that testimony, as I prayed for that person who was having pain on his chest, on the lungs, right now, that person who has just requested prayer for your chest pain, right now, receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil plantation is being flushed out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you came believing God for is coming to pass right now in Jesus' mighty name. If you will say it and it shall, so shall it be. I want you to thank him. Thank him for the salvation of your family in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, purge. Purge everything that you don't want, my God, for a complete breakthrough, Father God. I prophesy complete breakthroughs to everybody who's here in Jesus' mighty name. Breakthroughs in the areas of visas I release in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Every conspiracy against you, every evil conspiracy against you, I command it to be scattered in Jesus' mighty name. Every conspiracy, it is scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that hates your lifting. Any power that hates your lifting right now. I speak to that power. My God. I command it to be disgraced. It will be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that has been fighting and saying you shall not be lifted, I command it to be disgraced because you will be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, somebody shout it in the comment section. I am lifted, I'm lifted, I'm lifted, I'm lifted in Jesus' mighty name. I'm lifted, I'm lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. 
every power of darkness that has been surrounding your star, that has been saying you will not move to your next level, I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ as you prophesy to yourself right now and say, I'm moving to the next level in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to the next level in Jesus' name. I'm going to the next level in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that has been sent to rubbish your star right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you will rise and you will shine in the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus, you are rising and shining. Come on, declare with me right now. Father, I prophesy. This is a season of rising. This is a season of shining. Some people are getting their stars back. Some people are some people's stars are, are, are shining brighter than ever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are moving out of the darkness in Jesus' mighty name. For everybody who's at the sound of my voice, everybody who's part of this family, who's part of this uh, movement of protest call breaking prayers my god i thank you holy spirit their stars are restored in jesus mighty name father we retrieve them we are moving to the next levels in the name of jesus christ my god thank you i hear the holy spirit saying i'm removing the garment of shame i'm giving you the garment of glory in the name of jesus christ matapelo where are you i'm seeing the name called matapelo the lord is saying you are receiving a garment of of that your garment of shame is being removed but god is giving you a new garment because a lot of things have been shameful around you even you've been mocked so much your self-esteem is so low receive your freedom and deliverance in jesus mighty name thank you jesus thank you holy spirit somebody declare it once more and say my star is not for sale jesus died on the cross so that your star shall not be exchanged in the name of jesus christ my star is not for sale. Shakura bahasata kanya baha. This is your month of results. By virtue of you being on this crossover uh, uh, prayer session, my God, I declare and I decree that this is your season of results in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has been insulting you, I cancel it right now. Results are going to cancel every insult that you have been suffering in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody who's here and saying, Father God, I'm tired of the stigma. I'm tired of the insults. Matapelo, you've been insulted way too much. There's also a lady called Mabongi. You've been going through a lot of insults. Shavin, you are lifted. I cancel every insult in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. As you confirm, I'm able to even go further and faster. Thank you, Tapelo. Welcome. I'm looking for those who are saying, I'm more than this. I know I was born for more than this. I know I don't want this stigma anymore. Father God, I'm tired of the insults. I am more than this. I was born for more than this. I will not bow my head in shame any longer. I will not bow my head in shame any longer. I any battle that comes my way, I will conquer in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. I need people who will open up their mouth and say, give me results, oh Jesus. Give me results. Wipe out and cancel forever every single form of insult in the name of Jesus. Do I have such desperate people in the house? Do I have people who are desperate enough who are saying, my star will shine. I need to cancel every single form of insult in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every past insult that you have suffered, whether it is this year or last year or whatever, I'm wiping the slate clean right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I'm wiping the slate clean by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Your star will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been insulted enough and, 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 and you have been ashamed because now your husband has not been even hiding the fact that he's committing adultery. I'm speaking to somebody who's on the Fortune Online platform right now.
Give me results, oh God. I'm here with the fighters. I'm here with the army. Give me results, oh God. Let results be your best revenge this year in 2023. Let success be your best revenge in this year, 2023. Your star will shine. Somebody declare my star will shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but God who shows mercy. Somebody needs to call on the mercy of God right now and say, God, show me mercy. I need results. If it is mercy that unlocks my results, God, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Give me unquestionable results, unquestionable testimonies. I need to be a game changer right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When I trek through the scriptures, the Bible says, Nathaniel said to him, Can there be any good thing that comes out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Come and see. Somebody say, come and see. They have looked down upon you. They thought they, they don't have respect because that familiarity has now crept in. They don't think anything could have come out good from your household. They don't think anything good could have come out from your, from your neighborhood, your, your community. Never take the oil for granted. Let me help some of you. Some of you, it's not that you were in, 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 in churches where you were stagnant. You just got used to the, 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 to the anointing. You got too used to your pastor and you took him for granted. You, took, you make him your pali. Your, it's not your pal. Never get too familiar with the anointing. Always respect the oil and, 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 and the authority that God places before you so that you are able to drink from that cup. Have that reverence and that respect and understand that you are working with the servant of God. That is the problem of some people. That they don't respect the oil. God bless you, Canaanese, for always respecting the oil. But there are some who don't. Some people just address the oil in any way. And that is why, instead of blessing, some men and women of God have ended up, even if they don't curse, they, they can't even release a blessing because they've been disrespected by issues of familiarity. Be careful of issue of familiarity. The Holy Spirit wanted me to bring that correction. Your star will shine. When he asked, he says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He said, come and see. This is a God of come and see that you're about to, 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 to encounter. From today onwards, you will be saying, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. He's also called taste and see God. John 1 46, it says, taste and see God. Taste and see the results that God has. You are going to taste the results. Can somebody say, I'm going to taste my results. I'm going to taste the results. Oh, Jesus, I prophesy that this year you will meet people that will have answers to your questions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Results shall be your assurance in this year. You will meet people that I will announce you in relevant rooms. You will meet people that will announce you to relevant people. You will meet people, not people that you send their CV, you send your CV to people and 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 now all of a sudden they say, oh no, I, I, I'm helping you look for a job. No, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not. But God is going to help you to meet people who are actually going to fight for you who are going to be your true destiny helpers and actually help you. You're going to taste the results. You're going to see the results. You're going to meet people that are going to open doors for you, that are total strangers, that have nothing to benefit back from you, but to just open the door and announce you. Come on, somebody. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. As I trek in the spirit realm, it took me to Job and he says, 
If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. My God, do I have people in the crowd here who are saying, I will obey God. And therefore, because of my obedience, I will spend my days in prosperity. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Belina. Welcome. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord expand your territory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And my God shall supply. My God shall supply. Is there somebody who needs a God that supplies? As your star is shining, as your star is restored, the Lord saying, I am a God that will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, Weeping may enjoy for a night, but joy has come in the morning, and your morning season has come now. Somebody receive your joy now in Jesus' mighty name. The lines are falling unto you in pleasant places. You have a goodly heritage and you're going to start seeing the goodly heritage. Somebody declare it with me. The lines are falling unto me in good places. I have a goodly heritage. The lines are falling unto me. I'm being announced in good places. My name is being mentioned for good. My name is being elevated for good. Ah, Kariabasundo, my heritage of goodness is starting to manifest and is starting to shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, son somebody give Jesus a shout of praise there that was the praise moment right there I have a goodly heritage I'm manifesting a goodly heritage in the name of Jesus Christ somebody say my, my star must shine today this morning power must change hands Power must definitely change hands. When you leave this broadcast, you're going to leave here with change of power. You're leaving here more powerful than when you came in in Jesus' mighty name. Your star will shine in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Belina. Power must change hands. Somebody declare it in the comment section. Power must change hands today. Power must change hands. Every battle against your destiny every battle against your destiny from your foundation right now i command it to die every evil tree speaking against you that has been planted against your advancement i command it to die in the name of jesus christ every satanic visitation that has been sent to attack you in jesus mighty name every satanic visitation sent to attack your star right now i dismantle it i command it to break i command it to catch fire in the mighty name of jesus christ every single thing that could ever happen to that satanic attack right now in chain in jesus mighty name power is changing hands power is changing hands in the mighty name of jesus christ let the agenda of the evil wise men every agenda of every evil wise man against your destiny right now i'm rendering it null and void in the name of jesus christ every agenda of evil men it is rendered null and void null and void null and void in jesus mighty name every domestic antagonism that has been queering your shining i command it to be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, select us for uncommon breakthroughs. Select us for uncommon promotions. Select us for uncommon elevations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody receive uncommon breakthrough, uncommon elevation, uncommon breakthrough, uncommon elevation in Jesus' mighty name? Oh, Jesus, thank you. Father, we did. We claim divine favor from all angles in Jesus mighty name father we we claim divine favor somebody continue to declaim claim divine favor claim divine favor we almost there don't give up now don't get tired now i'm not tired i'm refiring right now i'm refiring i'm ready to fire on you shall be delivered nobody's leaving here not delivered come on somebody yes you are selected on tadile you are selected for an uncommon breakthrough on Tadile, in the next three days, you are returning with a testimony. God bless you, Smanye. We claim divine favor. Come on, somebody. Let the blood of Jesus speak. Let the blood of Jesus speak. 
Let the blood of Jesus speak. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for those who are gifting. Right now, I release that, that spirit of arthritis. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command it to go. I command it to leave your body right now in Jesus' mighty name. You will experience immediate relief right now in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody who's been, those people that have been diagnosed with arthritis right now, you are feeling an absolute breeze right now. It's as if your hand is about to get icy, but God is saying, I'm performing a surgery and that pain is going to go right now. You're going to feel immediate relief in a few minutes. That cold will go away and you're going to feel immediate relief in Jesus name. Every coven agenda against your elevation, I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be scattered to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind it to go right now. I prophesy that in this July month and beyond, you will be at the right place at the right time in the name of Jesus Christ. Not only will favor follow you, you will be favored by God and favored by men, but you will be at the right place and at the right time. Opportunities shall locate you. Your star will continue to shine and guide you in the direction that you need to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Your head will receive fresh oil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving fresh elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Marinki. Oh my God, I try to pin it. Let me see if I caught that testimony. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that testimony. Every power that has been assigned to work against the divine oil, there's an anointing that is flowing from your head right now. Right now. Right now. Any power that is trying to fight that oil right now, I command it to scatter by fire in Jesus' name. Every yoke that has been targeted to demote you right now, it scatters. All future satanic communications networking against you, my God, whatever they, it may have been fashioned, it may, may have been reformed, it shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every agenda of the darkness, my God, let it be frustrated. It will not frustrate your star. Instead of it frustrating your star, God is reversing it back. It shall be frustrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been programmed in the heavenlies against your star, Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We disconnect with anything that has been programmed against our destinies. We disconnect ourselves from every evil associations. Come on, guys. Disconnect yourself from every evil association right now in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere they've been, they, the, the monitoring spirits have been spreading news about your, your success, my God. Any person who's holding your information and is an evil programmer, Father God, we retrieve that information in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, you're going to have to walk this path with a bit of silence, even when you see that God is working things out. Don't release the testimony yet to some people who are very close to you because of the jealousy they might want to sabotage you. And the Lord says you will hold your peace because there's Joseph brothers around you who are trying to bring you down in Jesus' name. And it shall not be. This time your star will shine. They won't have enough. They, they, will, they won't catch you on time to bring you down. God bless you, Miss Leah, Mr. Leathel. What a beautiful testimony. Wow. Every cage that has been imprisoning your star, I command it to open right now. Let it release your star right now. Welcome, Niron. Welcome, welcome. Father, we welcome the freedom and the liberty that our stars are walking out of every cage in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you. O God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, arise and visit all the wicked powers that have been harassing us in Jesus' mighty name. 
Anybody that has been harassing you, I set the visitation of the Holy Ghost on them. I don't know who has been harassing you in your workplace. Thank you for those who are following. Thank you for those who are gifting. Thank you for the tappers. You are amazing tonight. You are, you are on fire. Hey, I see the likes, guys. Oh, wow. Imagine if we get to 300,000 likes. Every single person who's on this broadcast, you will return with a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Your children, Mabindisa, will have a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Their stars shall not be. Jane, <laughs> somebody says a money lender has been harassing me. Why did you have to go and borrow? The Bible says he who borrows, you are, you are a slave to the, how does the scripture go? Stop borrowing money. Disconnect yourself from every source of evil right now. Declare my star will shine. My star will shine. You have more power than you think, guys. You have more power than you think. Let the angels of God arise. Let every padlock, every chain, every evil chain be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil chain that has been monitoring your star, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you guys tired? Are you guys tired? Because I'm not tired. I can fight like this. Don't be tired until you, 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 you feel the peace of the breakthrough inside of you. <laughs> Angel, you say you are tired. <laughs> you can't afford to be tired, Angel Rivera. You can't, not you. You want to sleep favored with grace. What, guys, let me be clear what I'm asking. Are you tired of praying? That's what I'm asking. Are you tired of praying? Are you tired of praying? Nope. Okay. I go with the nose. I go with the nose. These are people. These are army generals. Oh, Angel says I'm happy. Okay. I know you're tired. We are tired of uh, people who are trying to steal our stars, but we're not going to be tired to fight them. It is the devil that must retire. We're not retiring. We're not tired. Come on, somebody. Let the angels of the Lord arise and do their work and free us from the chains, the chains that have been monitoring our stars. Father, we come against the spirit of, 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 of star hunters right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every hand that has performed evil and, uh, and wickedness in our life, my God, let that hand of wickedness wither in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to actually see that hand being withered every head everybody who has placed his hands on you and and has has, has made you wither in jesus mighty name right now soto, any wickedness that they've been performing on you their hand will wither in jesus mighty name oh jesus some of some of you you will meet certain people in your lives that are very close to you they're gonna be cast like they're gonna catch some sudden sicknesses that don't make sense Somebody that you saw yesterday that was very well, very well, very good. God bless you. Thank you for gifting. Amen. Amen. Retrieve those stars. Change it around, Tumza. You have the destinies in your hands. Retrieve your star. You will see a difference. My star will shine. My star will shine. Bless you, Cody. Father, we release every single star from every satanic bondage. In Jesus' mighty name, we curse the success of all evil manipulators working against our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare and we decree that evil shall not succeed. Everything that is working against our life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we crush it by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
every satanic database where our names are written father god we command it to be consumed by fire we remove our names from the list of failures and list of any satanic intentions or agendas in jesus mighty name the Lord is arising in his mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. He's blotting out all forms of diabolic, diabolic agendas in Jesus' mighty name. Every diabolic record, anywhere where the enemy has been keeping record and saying, you did this in the past, the Lord is saying, I'm blotting it out. I'm removing that thing, that accusation that the enemy can bring before you in the courts of heaven. I have blotted it out. You, you are white as snow. You are clean. Receive, receive, receive. I prophesy that you are going to receive a fresh energizement in Jesus' mighty name. Your angels are being re-energized in Jesus' mighty name. You are going on a fresh pursuit against that Pharaoh that has been tormenting you. You are going on a fresh pursuit to torment those who have been tormenting you. You are on a fresh pursuit to make sure that those Egyptians you will never see again. Let those Egyptians not be seen by your children as well. My God, we cut it off tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Let the vengeance of the Lord arise and defend you. Let the vengeance of the Lord arise and defend you. Star hunters must come down today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside of uh, anything that has not been planted inside of you, it must go. That unusual discharge, it must go. That impotency must go in Jesus' mighty name. Arise, O oh God, arise, O oh God. Arise and uproot, O oh God. Arise and uproot, O oh God. Are you guys ready? How many of you came with your... Um, dream interpretations so if you if you want your dreams to be interpreted we're gonna soon start there and we'll take in some other specific prayer requests father i pray for sandra right now thank you liron is it itchy it is it lymphoma or lipoma lymphoma and that itchiness I command it to go I hope I pronounced it right in the name of Jesus Christ family please help me follow the account that you're on and you click on the notification bell so that you don't miss me when I'm next live I'm live every day of the week 5 a.m. and then at 10 p.m. we've got our Bible studies as well but at 5 a.m. South African Standard Time I'm always live Please make sure you are following me so that we don't lose contact. And if you go to my profile, you will see there's an Instagram icon. You can send me a message via Instagram. On that same Instagram icon, when you click on it on TikTok, you will see the YouTube link. You can watch the replay of everything that we do. Amen. Thank you for those who are, who are following. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, blood of Jesus, cleanse my foundation. We are dealing it for, from the root. Cleanse my foundation. I don't want my foundation to come and attack my star. Cleanse my foundation. Father, break every curse in my life. I don't want any curse lingering over and, and trying to affect my star. In the name of Jesus, we are breaching every foundational covenant that is working against us. Every foundational covenant that is working against our destiny, we are breaching right now. We are breaking every, every, every foundational bondage in Jesus' mighty name. 
we are re- we are arresting every foundational arrest anything in our foundations in our ancestral lineage that has been holding us down in Jesus mighty name we break free from it in Jesus mighty name welcome Sandra I see most of you have also subscribed thank you so much God bless you every single form of darkness that has been established in your foundation I command it to go and let you loose in Jesus mighty name every serpent that is coming from your foundation I command it to perish right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command it right now it perishes let God arise and scatter every foundational witchcraft every foundational witchcraft that has been fighting you right now I command it to be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ every witchcraft foundation perish now it perishes now it stops now in the name of Jesus Christ every basis of confusion in your life it is perishing now in Jesus mighty name I decree and I declare you will not be confused anymore in Jesus name thank you Jesus Ya la 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 ma soko dia ma shanta ka dia ma soko dia ma si Every familiar spirit is cast out in the name of Jesus Christ I cleanse your womb right now in the name of Jesus Christ is pile Is pile lay hands on your on your womb right now Get a glass of water please As I pray for you right now, I want you to drink it. Lay hands on your womb. Father, whatever debris that is been remaining in there, Father God, I command it to be flushed out in Jesus mighty name. I pray for a complete restoration of that womb in Jesus mighty name. When you finish drinking the water, In the next 7 days there's going to be continuous discharge that is going to come out. You're going to be free. Confusion is perishing in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, shake down every solid stronghold that has been speaking against my star. Every stronghold against my star i command it to come down in jesus name i bind and i cast out every familiar spirit that has been hindering those who are the sound of my voice in the name of jesus christ every foundational familiar spirit that has been your challenge right now i command it to go out in jesus name i speak to every marine spirit every marine power that has been slowing you down that has been sending you spiritual husbands that has been sending you spiritual spouses right now i command that marine spirit to loose you and let you go in jesus mighty name you will not bow to that marine spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ let every seed of poverty in your life be perished right now let it die right now in jesus mighty name Oh my god. Hallelujah. Those of you with dream interpretation requests, you can start requesting on the little people button. Kada baso na masho kodia basa takadia mashe kedia maso to You can start waiting and because I want to see if you're not there I'm going to take the, this into a different direction. right Let's do it in an orderly fashion We wash away Lord every consequences that we 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 suffering because of ancestral idol worship some of you because of ancestral kora basa Miss P 
May God give you strength to bring healing to him. And I know I understand what you're going through. When you're married to somebody who is broken it can drain you and I'm praying for strength for you in Jesus name Lisa I command healing to that lung disease in the name of Jesus Christ I command that inflammation to go down in Jesus mighty name In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's push through. Pandora, guys, I ask, uh, I don't know. Moderators, can you tell me whether we've got requests? Have we got requests yet? Just type, I will see in the request. Are there people on the request line? Every idol, I scatter you right now. Some of you have been playing around with too many things of... Um, welcome, Apostle Emmanuel. Thank you for following the Creator. Thank you for everybody who's giving us a follow. Thank you for everybody who's becoming part of the family. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm going to be praying for those with prayer requests while I'm waiting for those with the queries. If not, I'm just going to close um, in a different direction. Do we have them? Do we have... Re there is request at the bottom. Is there a reason why you guys are not able to request? Huh? They are texting. Okay, guys, um, the text will go too fast, so we won't be able to catch it. So I'm going to give you the direction how we're going to do it. You're going to do a request to come into the box. You're going to mute your, your microphone. You can put on your, your videos, please. You're going to be very short. In less than a minute, you're going to say exactly what is the dream you need in interpreted. Okay, if it's a praise report as well, 30 seconds to a minute, guys. And we have to, because we've got a lot of people to get through. Is somebody feeling liberated this morning? Is somebody feeling liberated this morning? Thank you for those who are following in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to pray for you right now in Jesus' mighty name. come against that stagnancy perpetual in Jesus mighty name your dream has got you locked up you are in one place oh Jesus every arrow of affliction whatever the arrow of affliction born out of idolatry I command it to let you go in Jesus mighty name right now please guys let's quickly make sure we are doing the follows so that we can call Oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. deliverance is happening that deliverance is happening i'm actually waiting for her i don't know whether she's finished but she needs to come back guys you are typing i won't be able to read the, the dreams as fast as you are typing them okay so i'm gonna have need you to help me pace a bit okay we're gonna pace ourselves a little bit can somebody say my star will shine my star will shine 
My star will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm still waiting for Apostle to come around who's going to help me with the dream interpretations. Somebody say, my star must shine. My star must shine. Do you guys feel the retrieving that you've retrieved? We've retrieved our stars today. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Each step that you will take from today, it will be a step of progress in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Your star will continue to shine. Every star hunter has been silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Are we good? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we thank the Lord right now? Can we thank the Lord for an awesome amount of prayer that we've done? My star must shine by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's thank him. Just before we start the dream interpretation, we need to close out our three-hour session first so that we can thank God. Worship the Lord right now. Begin to give him thanks right now. Thank God for what he has done for you. Thank God for the restoration of your star in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you, Lord, that you saturate the heavens, my God. Saturate our environment with our stars that are shining. Saturate our heavens, oh God. Saturate our environment and the heavens with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, every single person that has joined our family today, my God. Everybody who has come across this broadcast, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, I ask, oh God, Lord, that the walls of fire surround them, the walls of protection continue to surround them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, Lord, that your strong angels continue to maintain a security wall around them and their families in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for using me as a vessel and to honor this evening, my God, and this morning. My God, I thank you, Lord, that somebody's word of deliverance has come in Jesus' mighty name. Hope has been restored. Motivation has been restored. Somebody has been inspired and somebody has been transformed. The devil has lost and the kingdom of God has gained in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as we have prayed, my God, as stars have been restored in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil that has been programmed into our star has been obliterated in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every womb that was barren is now fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, God, that you have destroyed by fire any plantation that has been coming into our bodies, whether through dreams or through the physical in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every uh, every arrangement of evil predictions, every psychic predictions, um, evil prophetic declarations or prophetic uh, uh, things that have been said, my God, that have been evil or, or destructive, Father God, have been removed in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, we move with a fresh expectation of the manifestation as the manifestations of the sons of God. My God, we will manifest the light and we will manifest the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare to somebody that your season of failure has been has come to an end, has expired. That cycle of failure has come to an end. There is a lady on Fortune L Online, you have said, your mother has been sick from one thing or the other and it does not make sense because it's one diagnosis after the other that does not make sense. And sometimes they say, no, that was a misdiagnosis. And the next thing is like, you don't even know what is wrong with her. My God, I pray for that woman right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let that evil cycle stop right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let that evil cycle stop right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let that evil cycle stop right now in Jesus' mighty name. I uproot that evil plantation in them. You didn't give me your mother's name, but it's okay. I uproot that evil plantation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I break every single curse of stagnancy the yoke of stagnancy father i command the elements of the earth the sun the moon and the stars to work with us and for us 
they will submit to the Holy Ghost in Jesus mighty name I pray for that person with epilepsy you've got a child who is ep epileptic epileptic yes father I reverse I reverse in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for for healing for that epilepsy I pray for that child who they called retarded who they called slow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ whatever evil has been programmed into their star in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I commanded that it is destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ anybody who is remote controlling you from wherever you are you left your village you went to the city you left the city you went to another country but you are still suffering the same challenges as they are gathered at the moment your one of your siblings is not happy the fact that you actually left and and your sibling is saying you don't even send money home and it's your sister she's actually very annoyed with you you are a gentleman you are overseas at the moment in another country and has actually gone to is it a diviner you call them but what i see is that they are manipulating you they are looking at you in the mirror and you you are starting to wonder why things are not going the way they were going before I break that monitoring spirit that monitoring mirror that they are looking at you my God Mama, Mama, the issue is a different one. I don't know what country you are in, so I can't respond to that. What, what, what is causing you to do that or not receive that money? But the issue is not a spiritual one. That's what basically I'm saying. Your issue is not a spiritual one. The reason why you have not been receiving money is not a spiritual. There is no satanic hand in it. My God, I pray for every single body with every evil mark on you, whatever cuts that they've made on you that was supposed to strengthen you. Right now, I speak Karama Shaka Diabaha. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I need you to strengthen your prayer even more. Perfect. And I need you to send word back home and tell them that things are a bit tough, but when things get better, you will do good by them. You have not forgotten them. We are removing marks of evil altars. Any cuts you have on your body right now that were gates that allowed the enemy to come in. While you were given cuts, I, I, oh, Kariyabas. I cancel it by fire. Every cut that was made, every evil cut, I cancel it in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil cut that opened the door to your star being attacked, right now, I cancel it in Jesus' mighty name. I cancel it in Jesus mighty name I cancel it in Jesus mighty name that lady who has a headache every morning your blood pressure is not in control any power that is sitting on your blessing I release I release your blessings from the heavenlies right now in Jesus mighty name Every evil word that has been spoken against your star right now 
it's nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of premature death is canceled in the name of Jesus Christ. I abolish every single thing that has been programmed in your star for premature death. They were planning. I see a white vehicle that was in an accident and the car overturned and it was because of a there's actually something that was spiked on the two back tires and they tried to take you out yes every evil cut is cancelled in your body whether you put that cut yourself or it was put by your parents or anybody else right now we cancel every evil cut every evil foundation that was created thereby in jesus mighty name i dismantle every evil calendar in your life anything where they said you are going to die in jesus mighty name thank you holy spirit Father, I thank you for every single person that has joined this meeting today. I thank you for those that have been on YouTube and on Facebook and on TikTok. And Father, as we move on to the next session and the next dimension, we ask, Lord, that you open up the windows of heaven, pour out a blessing that we could not ever contain. Father, I ask, Lord, that you open our spiritual eyes and ears, Father God, to have that teeth problem i'll come back to you when we when we get to the dream interpretation if you are still gonna stay around premature death is cancelled in the name of jesus christ any power of darkness that is using your glory right now using your glory to monitor you it's cancelled right now in jesus mighty name Jane, may you receive discernment in Jesus' mighty name. Every star hunter has been destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I give you praise and honor and adoration, of God. I glorify your name, of God. Can somebody give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody? Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I thank you. How do we see the, the ones who have requested? okay we've got 14 people that have requested so this is how we're gonna do it guys it's very important that you follow the rules okay we're going into a different dimension now pepechi what happened to the white car that you're referring to my darling was it in an accident? Answer me quickly, Pepechi, because I want to start the dream interpretation session. Father, we thank you for the spiritual warfare that has gone forth. We thank you for every answered prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Your star is shining in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, guys, I'm going to start accepting people in the... I think we need to reduce this. Okay, guys, this is this. This is how we're gonna do it, right? Please mute your. Um, are they gonna hear with the music in the background? Do we continue with the recording on there as well? Should I cut the stream on on YouTube? Okay, um, everybody on YouTube and on Facebook, I'm asking you to jump over to TikTok for the dream interpretations, okay? So we're going to stop the stream on Facebook and on YouTube. We're going to be talking to everybody on um, TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, please make sure you are following me, Fortune L Online, Fortune F-O-R-T-U-N-E l online if you're already on my broadcast you will see there at the top it says pastor fortune if you're on mara official you follow that account and you click on the notification bell and you also click on the youtube link um and the instagram link they are all in, in on the same icon okay and make sure you are here tomorrow at 5 a.m we're gonna have our 5 a.m prayer um i tomorrow what's tomorrow tomorrow is sunday okay let's see how far we get today and but i'm here every friday 
I mean, every single day of the week at 5 a.m. South African Standard Time, 10 p.m. at South African Standard Time. So I invite you, if you want to grow in the word, that you'll be here for the Bible studies. And encourage everybody who's here not to leave. Uh, stay on the broadcast. We're going to um, take on a few questions and a few uh, dream interpretations and uh, hopefully be a blessing to you. And I, I, I want to say thank you to everybody that has... Um, been participating fully uh through the liking and you keep on liking keep on pressing the like even now while we are taking questions please mute your microphones mute your microphones please my darlings please be very quick okay let me just sign out on uh this account thank you so much god bless you youtube god bless you facebook please make sure you are following the tiktok accounts so that you can benefit and sometimes we don't have certain content on tiktok and we all we we, we have content on youtube please make sure you are following the youtube accounts it's very important god bless you thank you so much